Welcome back ladies to Much More Than Beauty. So in today's video, I'm gonna be attempting the Bantu Knot Out on Blown Out Natural Hair for the very first time. So if you're interested in seeing the results, keep watching. This is before with my hair all blown out. And this is after the Bantu Knots. So for this hairstyle, I'm gonna start with freshly washed hair and I'm going to be using the Motions Naturally You Moisturizing Cleanser Shampoo. And after a couple washes, I'm going to rinse that out. And I'm going to follow with the Aussie 3-Minute Moist Deep Conditioner. And I'm going to detangle my hair in the shower and rinse out most of the conditioner. And so to blow out my hair, I'm going to be using the Conair Styler Dryer. And because of the length of my hair, this is the best dryer to use because it's much faster and easier. I will be using clips to section my hair. And to protect my hair from heat, I'm going to be using the Nubian Heritage Honey and Black Seed Heat Protecting Keratin Spray. And since I'm going to be using the bonnet dryer, I'm going to spray this all over my hair to protect it from the heat. So I'm going to section my hair into four sections. I'm going to take one of the bottom sections and I'm going to use L'Oreal's Ever Style Smooth and Shine Serum and this protects your hair from frizz for 48 hours. I'm going to begin drying my hair with the Conair Styler Dryer and ladies if you do not have this dryer you could just use a regular blow dryer and a round brush. I'm going to continue drying my hair until it's completely dry. The goal is not to make your hair perfectly straight, really it's just to dry it. I'm taking my hair sections by section and slowly drying the hair. After I finish drying all the sections, I'm going to let all the hair down that I clipped back and I'm just going to take the styler dryer and I'm going to run it through a few more times all over my hair. So before I begin twirling away, I'm going to first start by sectioning the bottom half section of my hair into two. And I'm going to tuck away that part and then I'm going to take that bottom section there and I'm going to split that into two. And using the Nubian Heritage Honey and Black Seed Heat Protectant Keratin Wrap Mousse, I'm going to take a little bit of that and also the Motion to Naturally You Hydrate My Curls Pudding. And I'm just going to take a little bit of each product to moisten my hair. Um, I'm not going to make my hair wet. You don't want to put too much. So just a little bit is enough. And I'm just going to run that through all of my hair. And so I'm going to take a section, like that half section, and I'm going to start by twisting it, twirling it. And then I'm going to do like a little knot and I'm going to twirl around the knot. And I'm just going to keep twirling over and over and around and around. And you want to make it slightly loose, not too tight, because you might get a headache if it's too tight. So that's the first Bantu knot. So I decided to take this section and also split it into two. Um, I, I noticed that that was a lot of hair. So you don't want to make the sections too big. And so I'm again taking a little bit of those products and I'm going to start by twirling my hair around a knot. And I'm just going to go in circles nice and loose and not too tight and after you're gonna want to start pinning them down because they will come unloose and you will have to do them all over again I'm gonna continue to use a little bit of each product to apply to each section of the hair and so I'm just gonna continue to split each section into a good amount of hair because the smaller the knots the more curls you're gonna have and the bigger the knots the less 
curls so you're just gonna continue to do this all over your hair and make sure to pin them down all right ladies so I finished with all these Bantu knots and I have about 20 or more knots in my hair and so to set it all in, I'm going to use the Bioinfusion Super Sheer Shine Spray and just apply that all over the hair. There's two options to drying the hair. Like I said, I would be using the Golden Hot Bonnet Dryer. And then the second option is the overnight drying process. And you can use like a satin wrap or scarf or you can find something around the house to improvise with. Just make sure to wrap your hair before going to sleep because if not, you will wake up with very frizzy hair. So I stayed in the dryer for about a good 40 minutes and then I got out of the dryer and I let it air dry for another 20 minutes. And so here I'm just unraveling the Bantu knots and I'm unraveling them in the opposite direction. So I'm just taking out all the Bantu knots. So after unraveling all the curls, I'm going to start splitting each curl and the way I'm going to do this is by twisting it in the opposite direction and then splitting it in half. So one by one, I'm going to take the Bantu knot and unravel it in the opposite direction and split it in half. So this is the finished look ladies. So I absolutely love the end results and I love the texture of my hair and the pattern of my curls so I will definitely be trying this again you ladies let me know below um, if you like this tutorial and if you try it out let me know how it worked out for you and thank you so much ladies for watching my video and you have a great day bye